What is going on guys, Perkix here, back with another Initial Thoughts video. And as you can tell by the title, I have my Initial Thoughts on the Leaning Wave Wave 3. Uh, highly anticipated by me because I just love the Wave Wave line and like what they're doing. Now in today's video you're going to be seeing two pictures. The first two pictures that I've seen, and I think most people have seen, you're going to see this specific picture you're looking at and also a heel view. Uh, apparently this colorway is called a Dexter colorway as you're going to see later. From the heel view, you're going to be able to see the inside tab. But let's just focus on the picture in front of you guys right now. So we see it side view. Looks like to me, uh, high top. Uh, the wave, uh, wave weight 1 and wave weight 2 are kind of a high top, kind of like a mid top. These kind of look like a high top. And these look a little more performance oriented somewhat. That collar area, is what make, to me, makes it look a little more performance oriented, depending on what it is. If, it, if it's one of those textures that just feel more... Uh, streetwear fashion oriented, then I think this is again, in my opinion, like the Wave Way 2, gonna be a more of a lifestyle shoe. You're not gonna be really balling in them. The Wave Way 2 wasn't that good of a balling shoe. As far as Wave Way 1, I couldn't really tell you. I didn't really have a Wave Way 1 for a long enough period to, to let you guys know. Now, uh, that midsole looks a little weird. Hopefully, it's not too high off the ground. The Wave Way 2 midsole for me was a little bit higher off the ground than I would like. I like low to the ground, low cut shoes. And I'm wondering if they're going to bring back the little W they did on the Wave Wave 1, if you know what I'm talking about, near the eyelets at the very top, the uh, very front of the shoe. And it also looks like they're going to go with the Wave Wave logo on the tongue instead of the leaning logo. Or like the Wave Wave 2, they had the Dwayne Wade logo. I think they're going to go with the uh, Dwayne Wade logo because it's kind of like it's a brand, kind of like the Jumpman, kind of like the Kobe logo. It's the, kind of like a sub-brand of leaning, but they're also keeping the leaning. Now, I like this pattern, like a splatter with a gray. Of course, this is, again, the Dexter colorway. It looks like we've got some red and black carbon fiber and some herringbone traction. The traction actually looks like it could be a good performance traction. Uh, but you, you guys can stay tuned to Nightwing and K-Genius, and they can let you guys know. Also, I'm going to wonder about the price point of these. Is the price point going to go up? I like that 150 price point. Ideally, I think it should be, uh, shoes should be about 140. That's an average price point. And 150 is still fine. Uh, and again, now here you're seeing the heel view. And you can see in that right behind the tongue, you see it says Dexter. And it says way, way Dexter. So that's where we're getting the kind of name. Now, if you look at the very bottom uh, where the midsole and the outsole meet, you can see there's a W. That's a nice touch. Uh, we haven't, I haven't seen enough pictures to pick out all the little details. Kind of like how the way, way one. There's those little details like that W on the laces. And then way, way two, there's those little details like on the outsole. I want to see what kind of details they have on this shoe. Also, the Wave Way 2, uh, it was a thicker cut uh, of, of leather. And people, some people like that, but some people like me, I like lightweight shoes. Not necessarily saying it has to be synthetic, but I mean, for me, I like to cut down the bulk a little bit. The Wave Way 2 was kind of a heavy shoe, and I think that also has to do with how it performed. So, you guys tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I'm very hyped to see more pictures of these, and there might even be a follow-up video. But for now, guys, for your kicks... Signing off.